Can a team of NHL rookies win a Stanley Cup in NHL 24? Honestly, I have no idea. But the good news is we are going to find that out today as I've created a full team of rookies, players that have never played in the NHL, or if they did, they are still under the rookie limit, which I believe is 25 games. Also, don't mind Connor Bedard and his beautiful mustache. He's definitely going that Austin Matthews route. But basically what we're going to do is we are going to simulate 10 full seasons to see if this team can go on and win a Stanley Cup in NHL 24. That is right, boys. We have a full team of NHL rookies, players that have never played in the NHL, or if they did, they haven't played a lot so far still under the rookie limit so on the first line we have sean farrell connor bedard of course and rosie marco rosie we have tyson forchester shane wright and matthew nyes on that second line we do have a lot of potential here we still have leo carlson down the middle at a 77 also i wanted adam fantilli on the team but he's literally not in the game right now he's not on columbus and obviously he played in college so i don't know where he'd be here we also have guys like stan coven matthew Savoie, and marco casper defensively our best defenders probably luke hughes who has the most upside he's elite defender or at least he has medium elite potential he's 80 overall already brand clark is also going to be very good we have edvinson who's a 78 caser 75 olin zellweger he should grow to a high overall as well and for our goalies we have devin levi at an 80 overall and dustin wolf who's a 79 both i believe have elite potential devin levi actually has high elite potential and dustin wolf has medium elite so hopefully one of these goaltenders can go on and be an elite goalie in the nhl that is what i'm banking on right now boys overall i mean this roster obviously is not very good right now but it does have a lot of potential so hopefully we can grow in overalls and become one of the best if not the best nhl team we have 10 years to simulate to see if we can win a stanley cup with a team full of rookies in nhl 24 you already knew that Connor bedard was going to be the captain of this team rossi is an assistant and also i believe luke hughes has an a as well yes sir on d so obviously at the end of year number one we are not going to finish with a great record we are going to be dead last in the central going 26 47 and 9 finishing with 61 points on the season we would also be the second worst team in all of hockey only above the san jose sharks god damn san jose you guys are that bad that a team of rookies are better than you guys colorado is going to finish first in the nhl followed by edmonton detroit was up there dallas and the florida panthers who just made the stanley cup final Connor bedard is pretty much going to be our only good player on our team 42 goals and 73 points farrell had 52 rosie 40 49 carano had 47 this guy had 42 shane wright had a pretty decent rookie year i guess 14 goals 42 points oh my god take a look at the minuses minus 43 minus 37 minus 11 minus 19 minus 45 minus 34 minus 36 minus 67 for brant clark oh my god how did our goalies do here joseph wall why did joseph wall start the most games here devin levi and joseph wall basically split the games this season devin levi went 12 20 and 6 902 save percentage which is not bad at all i mean the goals against is high but that is to be expected considering we're not a good team austin matthews is going to lead the nhl in points with 105 follow by passes 102 mckinnon had 102 and kaprizov 101 and we, let's check out goals here matthews is also going to lead with 57 follow by passes 52 kucherov had 50 line a 47 ranton in 44 bedard would be kind of up there though he had 42 goals i believe where is he at there he is all right so obviously we did not make the playoffs so let's go ahead and simulate to see who goes on and wins the stanley cup in year number one and the toronto maple leafs are going to go on and win the Stanley Cup in year number one, beating Dallas in six games in the Stanley Cup final. Okay, this is like three videos in a row that Toronto wins the Stanley Cup in year number one. This is crazy. Austin Matthews is going to take home the Ted Lindsay, the Maurice Richard, the Art Ross, and the Hart Trophy. The Norris is going to go to Kale McCarr, the Lady Bing to Kaprizov, and the Khan Smite to William Nylander. Connor Bedard is going to take home the Calder, the Vesna to Jake Ottinger, and the Selkie is going to go to Sidney Crosby. Also, I forgot to mention at the start of the video, I did give every player a 10-year contract if we take a look at the contracts here it's all at nine because we are one year in so hopefully everybody does stay with this team for the course of the entire video so if we take a look at our roster here Connor bedard's all the way up at an 89 overall rosie's an 85 this guy's also an 85 farrell's an 83 carlson's an 81 carano's an 84 shane wright is an 83 he's gonna play center though matthew nyes is an 81 stan coven's up to a 77 Savoie is a 79 we are growing boys the only problem is we're not gonna have 
have enough ice time to give everybody the best chance to become the greatest player they can be. Defensively, Edvinson's an 83. Korchinski, we picked up Kevin Korchinski, I believe. He's our highest defender at an 83. Luke Hughes, you're going on the first D pair, buddy. I don't care. We're trying to grow you to like a 90 plus. Devin Levi has grown all the way up to an 85 overall. That is definitely going to help us out. And Dustin Wolf is all the way up at an 82. I just tried the new birthday cake cookie they have at Subway. And oh my God, is it ever good. It's definitely a 10 out of 10, boys. Let me know in the comments if you guys have tried it and if you guys like it or not. Or what is the consensus on the birthday cake cookie at Subway? I really don't even know if it's actually new. I just never seen it before and wanted to try it. So somehow at the end of year number two, we are actually going to be at the top of the Central Division going 49, 28, and 5. Good enough for 103 points. Didn't we have like 60 points last season? There's no way we are actually this good in year number two. That is crazy. I definitely did not expect this. We are also going to finish as the third best team in the entire NHL, only below the Columbus Blue Jackets and the Edmonton Oilers, the greatest team of all time. The 2024 Stanley Cup champions as well. Detroit was also up there. Winnipeg, New Jersey, Florida at the bottom of the NHL. We have the St. Louis Blues, the Vegas Golden Knights, and the Calgary Flames. Arizona was also down there, so shout out to them. Connor Bedard is going to lead our team in goals with 39 and points with 92, followed by Rossi's 85. This guy, Luke, had 76. Coronado had 60. Shane Wright had a big season, 58 points. Farrell had 49. For goals on our team, we actually scored a lot of goals. We had like three, actually two 30-goal scores and like four or five 20-goal scores. Shane Wright had 23. Coronado, 26. Farrell, 26. Rossi, 30. And of course, Bedard, 39. For our goalies, they didn't really split the games. Devin Levi played 64 games, going 41, 17, and four. Nine shutouts and pretty good stats stats across the board. I mean, 916 save percentage is not bad whatsoever. For the entire NHL, Johnny Hockey is going to lead in points with 119, followed by McDavid's 107, Shifley had 105, Breadman 103, Kucherov was up there, Dry Settle, Jack Hughes had 101, Pedersen had another 100-point season. Now, if we take a look at goals, Patrick Line is going to lead with 61, followed by Kucherov's 54, Matthews had 53, Kyle Connor had 52, McDavo had 46, Connor Bedard, nobody else on our team was even close, really. Devin Levi is going to have the most wins in the NHL. Two more wins in second place. Also, he's going to lead in shutouts with nine. And in the very first round, we are going to have to play the Dallas Stars, which is actually a very good team. So it's going to be a tough series for us, but hopefully we can get the job done. And who knows, maybe we might actually go on and win a Stanley Cup only in year number two. And unfortunately, we are going to end up getting dealt in six games in the very first round by Dallas. And the Seattle Kraken are going to go on and win their very first Stanley Cup in franchise history, beating Tampa in six games in the Stanley Cup final. Johnny Hockey is going to win the Ted Lindsay, the Art Ross, and the Hart Trophy, while Patrick Laine is going to take home the Maurice Richard. The Columbus Blue Jackets are on top this season. Also, what the hell is going on with Laine's hair? Eric Carlson is going to win the Norris, the Lady Bing to Johnny Hockey, and the Con Smite to Jordan Eberly. Okay, the Vesna is going to go to Devin Levi. Shout out to him. Our goalie is going to get it done, and the Selkie is going to go to Sidney Crosby yet again. So, taking a look at our roster now. Oh my god, Marco Rossi is a 91 overall. Bedard is a 95, and Toronto's an 86. We have an absolutely stacked first line. Shane Wright's up to an 87. Leo Carlson's an 84. Luke is an 85. Farrell's an 84. Forchester's an 83. What about our decor here? Edvinson's an 88. Korchinski, 87. Luke Hughes is somehow only an 86. Devin Levi's all the way up at a 90 overall. And Dustin Wolf is an 86. We are slowly building into a Stanley Cup contender without even making any moves. Just relying on our young players growing to be absolutely absolute studs in the NHL. Now at the end of year three, we are going to take a huge step backwards as we only won 41 games, losing 32 and nine in overtime. We are going to finish with 91 points, fourth in the central, not the top of the division this season. I don't even know how that makes sense considering we are a much better team this year. New York is going to finish at the top of the NHL with 58 wins, followed by the Devils. Toronto was up there, Columbus and Carolina. We are going to end up finishing as the 17th best team in the NHL. I believe actually, no, we were the second worst team to make the playoffs. Connor Bedard's going to have a good season, 49 goals and 89 points, followed by Rossi, 76. Shane Wright had 69. Carano had 62. And Leo Carlson, 61. Luke was also up there. Korchinski, Farrell, Luke Hughes only hit six goals and 32 points. Devin Levi played 66 games, going 33, 27, and six. Four shutouts, decent stats overall. He played well the entire year. Jason Robertson is going to lead the NHL in points with one hundo, followed by Joe Pavelski's 99, followed by Zabinajad, who had 98. Your mom's a host about 
best. Naho had 97. Johnny Hockey, 97. Line it was up there. Breadman, Tage Thompson, and Jack Hughes. And for goals, Mika Zabinajet is going to lead the way. I guess he's a sniper now, considering he's lighting it up in every single simulation I do. Dreisaitl had 50. Bedard came in third place with 49. Troy Terry was up there with 46. Ovi had 46. Cooch was up there. Line A, Robo, and Joe Pavelski. And as we take a look at the playoffs here, we are going to play the Edmonton Oilers and Connor McDavid in the very first round. Again, a very tough matchup to play in the very first round. And we are actually going to make the Stanley Cup final in year number three. We are up against the Columbus Blue Jackets. Can we go on, boys, and win a Stanley Cup with NHL rookies in NHL 24 in only three seasons, which is very quick. And only three years in, the NHL rookies are going to go on and win the Stanley Cup, beating Columbus in the Stanley Cup final in four games, a clean sweep. It was not even close. And already three years in, they are going to complete the entire challenge of the video. I did not expect this. Not at all. I mean, three years is absolutely wild. That is so fast. And Matt Carano is going to take home the con Smythe for Team NHL Rookies. Team NHL Rookies. That just sounds so bizarre. Regardless, he is going to be the con Smythe winner. I'm surprised it was not Connor Bedard. I thought he would have taken it home, but I guess not. There it is. The Stanley Cup coming home to Nebraska. That is right, boys. We are the Nebraska NHL Rookies, and we are going to go on and win the Stanley Cup in year number three. Here's our captain, Bedsy Baby, coming to lift that Stanley Cup for the very first time in his career. And also our very first Stanley Cup in franchise history, technically. I mean, this franchise isn't really going to go on after this, but we are Stanley Cup champions nonetheless. Connor Bedard is actually going to lead our team in points with 20, despite the fact that Carano won the Conn Smythe with one less point than him and also less goals. So I'm not exactly sure what's going on there, but Rossi had 18, Leo Carlson had 15, Farrell 14. Luke Hughes had a big postseason. Let's take a look at our goalie here. Devin Levi went 16, 5, and 2. One shutout and very good stats across the board. I mean, a 923 save percentage is very good. And there it is. The Nebraska NHL rookies have won the Stanley Cup in only year number three, which is absolutely crazy. Mika Zabinajad is going to win the Ted Lindsay, the Maurice Richard, the Hart Trophy, and the Art Ross is going to go to Jason Robertson. Adam Fox is going to win the Norris, the Lady Bang to Johnny Hockey yet again, and the Con Smythe, obviously, to Coronado. The Vezna is going to go to Igor Shosturkin, and the Selkie is going to go to Leon Dreisaitl, who's on the Philadelphia Flyers. Hey, yo. All right, boys, since we did win the Stanley Cup in only year three of the video, I'm not just going to end it there. We're going to continue along for three more seasons to see if we can actually go back to back or maybe even three-peat. So the new limit for the video will be how many Stanley Cups we can win in six years, not 10. Because, I mean, we absolutely shattered that 10-year limit I gave us at the start. I did not expect us to win it in year number three. So we have three more years. Hopefully we can actually win at least one more Stanley Cup, maybe even two. I mean, this roster is good enough to win at least another Stanley Cup. Shane Wright's an 88, Bedard's a 96, Rossi 90. So Vaz had a big jump up to an 88. Carlson's an 86, Carnado's an 86 as well. Like our roster is very good. Let's take a look at our decor here. Edvinson's an 89, Zellweger 86, Clark 87. What is going on with Luke Hughes, man? He is not growing whatsoever. 23 years old, only an 86 over overall even though he has elite medium potential and of course for our starting goalie is going to be Devin Levi but Dustin Wolf is right behind him at an 89 overall he jumped up huge so we probably have the best goalie pairing in the entire NHL our forward core is absolutely stacked and our decor is very good as well now the Nebraska NHL rookies are going to have their best regular season so far throughout the video going 55 22 and 5 finishing with 115 points yeah we are definitely the best team in the NHL at the moment as we are going to finished first in the NHL, followed by Toronto, Tampa Bay, Columbus, New York, and Dallas. Connor Bedard is going to lead our team in goals with 44 and points with 106. Shane Wright would not be far behind with 97 points. Rossi had 86. Korchinski, 61. Savoie had 58. Granado had 56. Casper was up there. Luke Hughes. For our goalies, I mean, Devin Levi is basically playing the entire season. 67 games, won 41, 20, and 5. Three shutouts and decent stats overall. Dustin Wolf was also good in the 18 games that he did play. Connor Bedard is actually going to lead the NHL in points with 106 followed by Connor McDavid's 105 pass that had 98. Shane Wright was up there. Jason Robertson was there. Bradman, William Nylander had a big season. Nico Heischer had 95 points. And for goals, Matthews is going to lead the way with 58 followed by Ovi's 54. Kucherov had 52. Pass that was up there. McDavid 50. Yeah, Bedard was there as well with 44. And in the very first round, we are going to play the Anaheim Ducks which we should beat. I mean, Anaheim 
even like three or four years in, they're not going to be as good as we are. So we should get that done. Hopefully we can go back to back winning another Stanley Cup with a team full of NHL rookies. And somehow we are actually going to lose to the Vancouver Canucks in six games in the conference finals as the Tampa Bay Lightning go on and beat them in the Stanley Cup final in six games as well. That's tough, man. Losing to Vancouver in a playoff series must be embarrassing. Now for the playoffs, Connor Bedard is going to do his thing. 14 goals, 24 points, followed by Shane Wright, 17. Savoie had 11, Coronado 10, and Rossi 10. Connor Bedard is going to take home the Ted Lindsay, the Art Ross, and the Hart Trophy, while Austin Matthews will win the Maurice Richard. Adam Fox is going to win the Norris, the Lady Bing to Shane Wright, and the Con Smite to Victor Hedman. The Vezna is going to go to Igor yet again, and the Selkie is going to go to Leon Dreisettle for back to back seasons. Suck on that, haters, saying he's terrible defensively. So, taking a look at our roster here, Shane Wright, oh my god, he's grown to a 91. He's very good. Connor Bedard, obviously is still good 96 so was an 89 leo carlson's an 87 matthew nyes is not going to grow much more Carnado's an 86 our roster still overall is very good and our two goalies dustin wolf dustin wolf is actually higher than devin levi now devin levi dropped down to an 89 overall dustin wolf up to a 90 so yet again the nebraska nhl rookies are going to be at the top of the central division as we go 51 21 and 10 for 112 points we would also end up finishing as the best team in the nhl followed by toronto Montreal, Tampa Bay, Columbus, and Washington. Connor Bedard is still going to do his thing. I mean, 43 goals, 92 points. Not much else to say. He's led our team pretty much every single season. Savoie had 78, Rossi 73. Leo Carlson actually had a big season, 25 goals and 63 points. Obviously, Connor Bedard is going to lead our team in goals as well. 43, followed by Shane Wright, Leo Carlson, and Marco Casper. And Dustin Wolf is going to play 53 games as our starting goalie, going 34, 12, and 5. Two shutouts and very good stats. Devin Levi was also good in the 32 games that he played. Alexander Ovechkin at age 42 is going to lead the NHL in goals with 72 and points with 117. Followed by Matthews who had 112. Dylan Strom had 105. Kucherov was up there. Seth Jarvis had 101. Mitch Marner was up there with 99. Nylander 98 and Tara Vina 98. And for goals, I mean, other than Ovi, Kucherov had the most at 64. Followed by Matthew 62. McDavid had 53. Patrick Laine had 47. King, who the hell is this? Bob King had 47, age 20. And we have the Calgary Flames in the very first round of the playoffs. I mean, we made the Western Conference Finals last season, so that's technically a pretty good year, but I'm expecting at least making the Stanley Cup Final. And yet again, the NHL rookies are going to make the Stanley Cup Final. This time, we are going to play the Tampa Bay Lightning. Let's see if we can go on yet again, winning another Stanley Cup in the video. And yet again, the NHL rookies are going to go on and win the Stanley Cup as they beat Tampa Bay in game seven of the Stanley Cup final. I thought we choked it there for a minute, boys. We had a huge 5-0 loss in game six, but we did clutch it up in game seven to capture our second Stanley Cup of the video. Matthew Savoie is actually going to take home the Con Smythe for our team. Still not Connor Bedard. That is very surprising that Connor has not won a Con Smythe so far. And there it is, the Stanley Cup yet again being presented here in Nebraska. I mean, what a time to be alive the nhl rookies are dominating the nhl winning stanley cups left and right two in three seasons and we still have one year left here's Connor bedard for the second time in his career lifting that stanley cup yet again nebraska has gone all the way with a team full of nhl rookies and they are at the top of the hockey world winning the stanley cup okay maybe the con Smythe was actually well deserved matthew savoie is gonna lead her team in points with 26 followed by shane wright's 22 rosie had 21. Connor Bedard only had seven goals and 20 points. I mean, seven would be like third on our team in goals. Not the greatest playoff run by Bedsy, but it didn't even matter. I mean, our team is that stacked. Alex Ovechkin is going to sweep all the individual awards here. The Norris is going to go to Kale McCarr, the Lady Bing to Mitch Marner, and the Conn Smythe, of course, to Savoie. Merz Lincolns is going to win the Vesna, and the Selkie is going to go to Connor McDavid. Shout out to him, man. The last two seasons, Dreisaitl won it, and now Connor McDavid take home that selkie baby as we head into the final season of the video take a look at our roster man it's absolutely stacked i mean we have a lot of good players on our offense and our defense is very good as well and of course in goalie we have the best two goalies in the entire nhl devin levi is a 91 nil and dustin wolf is a 90 i've never seen two 90 plus overall goalies on the same exact team so we should go on and win another stanley cup bringing the tally to three throughout the video now at the end of the final season the nhl rookies are going to finish as the third seed in the 
Central going 45, 30, and 7, finishing with 97 points. Where were we at in the entire NHL? We were top 8 in the entire NHL, which is pretty good. I mean, maybe we took it easy for the course of the regular season because we are champions, so you never know. Connor Bedard is going to be steady throughout the entire video. 53 goals, 92 points pretty much every single season. Savoie had 88, Shane Wright 86, 31 goals, Casper at 85, Zach Benson 83. Oh my god, we have 5 80-point scores on our team. That is how good this team is. That is absolutely crazy. Rossi had 62, Carlson 61, Zellweger 59. Take a look at our goalies here. Devin Levi went 31, 20, and 6. Two shutouts. Not very great stat. Either goalies didn't really do that good. And there you have it, boys. Ben Dover has finally reached the NHL, leading in goals with 59 and points with 118. Followed by Ajo's 106. Bob King had 100. McKinnon 98. Ken Johnson 98. And for goals, other than Ben, King had the most with 55. Followed by Bedard's 53. Kyle Connor was up there with 51. Passed to 49. And Zabinijad 48. And in round number one, we are going to play the St. Louis Blues. And sadly, our playoff hopes have come to an end as we are going to lose to Anaheim in the second round in six games. As the Edmonton Oilers go on and win the Stanley Cup in game seven against the New York Rangers. And Ben Dover is going to clean up on all the individual awards. Kale McCarr is going to win the Norris. The Lady Bing Nicole Perfetti and the Khan Smite to Connor McDavid. The Vesna is going to go to Stuart Skinner. And the Selkie is going to go to Leon Dreisaitl. And that is going to do it for Connor Bedard's mustache in this video as we went on and won two Stanley Cups with a team full of NHL rookies heading into the 2023-2024 NHL season. I mean, I didn't expect us to win it three years in, but we did. So we had to change up the rules a little bit throughout the video. If you did enjoy the video, though, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. It really helps me out. I'd like to say thank you all for watching. And until next time, don't be silly. Rap your really.